Hello everyone. So today's topic is going to be on writing fractions. So let's start. Our goals for today are writing fractions in numbers as well as in words. So the first topic for today is we're going to recap what fraction is. So what is a fraction? A fraction is a part of a whole. For example, if you have ordered a whole pizza and you want to take only one slice, so that slice is a fraction of the whole pizza. Have a look at these three figures. So we want to know which of these are divided equally. Remember, a fraction is always divided into equal parts. So is A divided into equal parts? No, it is not equally divided. As you can see, these parts have different sizes. Let's look at B. Are they divided equally? Yes, they are. So this side and this side are of the same size. So it is equally divided. What about C, this square? Is it divided equally? Yes, it is. So this side is the same as the other three sides. So they are divided equally. Let us jump straight into the second topic, which is to write fraction in numbers. So we're gonna find out what the number on top means, as well as the number at the bottom of the fraction. Now, let's look at the steps needed when you want to write fraction in numbers. First of all, you have to understand what the question asks. So you read the question carefully. Second of all, you find the numerator, the number on top. The number on top represents the parts that we want. Step number three, you have to find the denominator, the number at the bottom or down below. So that represents the total number of parts. Let's look at this first example. So the question asks, what fraction is colored yellow? First step, understand it. It wants you to find the fraction that is colored yellow. Okay, so first of all, you have to have the numerator. Numerator is the number on top. So that is the parts that we want. What do we want? The one colored yellow. So how many parts or part that is colored yellow? There's only one. So we write one as the numerator. What about the denominator? Denominator is the total number of parts. How many total number of parts? Let's count one and two. There are only two, so we write two as the denominator. And this is how we write the fraction in numbers. Let's have a look at the second example. What fraction of this circle is colored orange? First step, you have to understand the question. What does it want? It wants the one colored orange. Step number two, find a numerator. Numerator are the parts that we want. So how many parts are colored orange? There is only one. So you write one as the numerator, the one number on top. Last step, find the denominator, total number of parts, which is one, two, and three. So we write three at the bottom. Easy? Let's move on. Now, let's answer the next example. What fraction of this figure is colored? We want the colored parts only. So step number two is to find the numerator. How many colored parts? There are two colored parts. So we write two on top. Step number three, we have to find a denominator, which is the total number of parts. So we count all of the parts, one, two, three. So the number at the bottom, or the number as the denominator is three. On to our next example, we want to find out what fraction of this figure is colored. So step number two is to find the parts that we want. The parts that are colored, there are six of them. And step number three is to find the denominator. 
the total number of parts. If you count all of them, you will have 10 parts. So you write 10 as the denominator. Have a look at this one. What fraction of this circle is colored? Understand the question. It wants the colored parts. So step number two is to find a numerator. How many parts are colored? There's one, two. Two parts are colored. So we write two on top. And how many total number of parts as the denominator? We count again, one and two. So there are two total number of parts. Remember, if we have the numerator and denominator the same number as here, we have two and two, we say this is one whole. We have practiced writing fractions in numbers. Now let's move on to the next topic, which is writing in words. So how to write fractions in words. Here are the steps in writing fractions in words. First of all, as usual, you have to understand what the question asks. Step number two, find the fraction in numbers first. So you have to find the numerator and the denominator. This will make it easier for you to change the fraction into words, the last step. So the numerator, you have to write it in cardinal numbers. So cardinal numbers are like one, two, three, and so on. Denominator, however, you write it in ordinal numbers, like position numbers, like third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and so on. Let's have a look at this example. In words, what fraction of this circle is colored yellow? Understand the question? We want the colored yellow. Second step, write the fraction in numbers. From the previous example, we know how to write this in numbers. It is as follows. Third step, you have to change the fraction into words. First of all, you have to have the cardinal number for the numerator. So numerator is 1, so cardinal is 1. Write 1. Denominator is 2. However, if it's 2, we don't put second. We say half because it has a special name. So it is 1 half. Don't forget to write the dash in between. Let's practice again with another example. So this one asks, in words, what fraction is colored? Understand the question. We want the parts that are colored. Step number two, find the fraction in numbers. We already know this is as follows. Step number three, Let's change this fraction into words. First one, numerator, you write it as cardinal, so that's only one. Denominator, we write it in ordinal number. So three, we say third. So it is one third. Don't forget the dash. Let's move on to the third example. So in words, what fraction of this figure is colored? So step number two, as usual, write the fraction in numbers. And as previously, we know it's as follows. Step number three, we have to change this fraction in numbers into words. So cardinal dash ordinal. So the numerator is just two, so you just write two. And denominator is three, so you change it into thirds. Don't forget the S at the back because it's plural. There are more than one third. Don't forget the dash as well. So this one, we've seen this figure before, but now we want to write the fractions in words. Understand the question? What fraction is it colored? We know it's as follows. Six as the numerator, 10 as the denominator. Now changing this into words, 
we have to have the cardinal number dash ordinal number. So cardinal number is the numerator, which is six. You just write six. And then you have the ordinal number, which is 10. Don't forget the THS at the back. Lastly, put your dash. Well done. Let's try these examples without the figures. So let's try writing each fraction in word form. Have a look at the first one. We have 1 as the numerator, 5 as the denominator. As usual, just write the numerator down first. So it's 1 dash 5. We change it into fifth. Next one, we have 1 again as the numerator and 7 as the denominator. So 7, we change it into seventh. Last one, on this side, we have again 1 as the numerator and 11, we change it into 11th. Onto the ones on the right, we have 3 as the numerator. So just write 3 dash denominator 5, we change it into fifths. Don't forget the S at the back because there is more than one. Next one, we have 4 dash, what's the number at the bottom? It's 7. So 7, we change it into ordinal, becomes sevenths. Last one, we have 9 dash 11, we change it into elevenths. So this we say 9 elevenths. Now, let's move on to the last topic. We're going to apply what we have learned in real life examples. So let's look at the first example. Hey, there's Olaf next to our pizza. Let's share our pizza with Olaf. As Olaf says, I would like one slice, please. Alrighty, one slice it is. Let's answer the following question. What fraction of the pizza will Olaf eat? Because Olaf only wants one slice, we take out one slice and that will become the numerator. It is what the question wants, what Olaf will eat. So there's only one as a numerator. Don't forget your line. And denominator is the total number of parts. So we have to count one by one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight total number of slices. So we write eight as a denominator. Let's change the question. Write the fraction in words. We already have the fraction in numbers. So let's change that into words. So cardinal first, numerator 1, so we just write 1. Denominator 8, we change it into ordinal, becomes 8. Don't forget the dash. So Olaf will eat 1 eighth of the whole pizza. Let's move on to the final example for today. We have Agent Ali. Agent Ali wants four pieces of our chocolate bar. So let's see, how can we share our chocolate bar with Agent Ali? What fraction of our chocolate bar will he get? He only wants four, so let's give him four. That will be our numerator. So we're at four, don't forget the line. And then the denominator is the total number of parts. So if you count one by one, you will have 12 total number of chocolate pieces on the bar. Now, let us write that fraction in words. We already have the numerator, which is 4. So just write that down. And then change the denominator 12 into 12. Don't forget the THS. And also our dash. So Ejin Ali will eat four twelfths of the chocolate bar. Was it okay? Was it easy? 
Alrighty, so let's have a quick recap of what we've learned today. We practice writing fraction in numbers, which requires us to know how to find the numerator, which is the number of parts that we want, and denominator is the total number of parts. We also learned how to write fraction in words. First, after knowing the fractions in numbers, we can change that fraction into words in the form of cardinal dash ordinal. So cardinal is one, two, three, and so on. Ordinal is third, fourth, fifth, and so on. Thank you. That's all for today. Take care.